Thanks for joining us from the Ohio Agnet, voice you know with the News You Trust Studio, sponsored by Grain Equipment Company, where innovation meets execution. I'm Dusty Sonnenberg. Well, bright sunshine of 51 degrees on the barn thermometer, we've made our way over to Stark County with the Ohio Field Leader Roadshow. We are at Spielman Farms today. The Ohio Field Leader is a project of the Ohio Soybean Council and your soybean checkoff. A couple quick calendar reminders. Tune in tomorrow for midday as Dale talks all things biodiesel with Jordan Davidson. He's the fleet superintendent from the Franklin County Engineer's Office. Then on Monday, he'll be visiting with the folks at Talc USA. That's a brand company who designs products to enhance crop performance for both corn and soybeans. I'm visiting today with Matt Spillman. We are over in Stark County, actually real close to the Stark Cuscarawas County line. Matt, tell me a little bit about the uh, farm and the family, if you will. Yeah, um, the farm started in 1981 with my dad and my uncle Eric. Um, and they kind of started out small and just kind of grew over the years and uh, kind of took off there and gained some acres. And we're here where we are today at uh, 2,500 roughly. So, uh, yeah, we do corn, soybeans, wheat, make some hay. And uh, currently my uncle's involved still. And uh, my two brothers, Dave and Steven, along with myself, uh, my dad, he uh, passed in August of 22 from uh, Alzheimer's dementia. So mm. that's where we're at here now, and uh, we're keeping things going. And Saw a few cattle on the operation too. Yeah, we just do uh, a few feeder or steers a year, um, roughly 25 to 30 head, and uh, we sell some private freezer beef. And what we don't use up that way gets taken to Zanesville down there uh, at Muskingum Livestock mostly. So Very good. Well, tell us a little bit about what the growing seasons look like. How did the crops get in the ground? And then uh, what happened after that? Yeah, um, we got an early start, both corn and soybeans. And uh, I think that paid off for us the way the weather events took place. Uh, that early planted stuff really uh, yielded fairly well for the late dry season we had. Um, but uh, And then, we, you know, we got stuff planted there and we had a two-week rain spell in uh, May where uh, we had roughly eight inches that put us out a while and uh, so we was able to finish up there before Memorial Day which is still pretty good timing so now we're sitting currently 85 percent done with soybeans and 70 percent done with corn and they're doing pretty well for what we've uh, put up with here Um, you can tell uh, the fields that got that little x bit of rain you know they're uh, 20 30 bushel above on corn and you know, 10 bushel, 15 bushel on soybeans. So that, that definitely uh, helped where them areas caught rain. But uh, I think timing wise, uh, most of the crop was made before we got extremely dry. And, you know, we had a big rain event here um, around the July 4th where we had four inches of rain mm-hmm. over three days. And I think that uh, kind of just let that crop get pollinated. And, uh, you know, them early soybeans were flowering then also. And I think that just uh, allowed us to get through kind of get the crop made before it totally burn up. <laughs> My guest again today, Matt Spielman. We are over in Stark County with the Ohio Field Leader Roadshow. Let's take a look now at your Thursday morning weather forecast brought to us by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at seedconsultants.com. Warm and dry for the next couple of days. We do see a few changes trying to sneak in here over the weekend. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin. Quick forecast update for you here in Ohio. Once again, today, the balance of today, tomorrow, and even early Saturday, we're just looking at partly to mostly sunny skies were warm and dry. A little bit of a change coming a Saturday afternoon as we see a few pop-up thunderstorms and showers trying to develop in northwest Ohio. And those may hold into Sunday where we see better coverage across the state. That comes as cold air dives in. We're chilly to start next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Frost and freeze conditions in there. And then we warm up late week. I'm Ryan Martin. Thanks, Ryan. Stay tuned. We'll be back to take a look at your markets after this. In any year, Your best harvest is only a few upgrades away. Seed Consultants exclusively serves the Eastern Corn Belt, combining our deep knowledge of local conditions with high-performing products fit for your acres. Most importantly, our customized services put our products and your business in a position to succeed. We help you start with better to grow your best. Visit SeedConsultants.com to learn why our products and services are simply better. Let's get an analysis on today's markets from Leist Mercantile. This update brought to us by Brandt, helping growers take control for over 70 years. I'm Ryan Metzger with Leist Mercantile, providing your weekly export data update. This morning, the USDA released their export sales data for week ending October 3rd. Announced new sales for corn 
was set at 1.222 million metric tons. On soybeans, we have new sales of 1.264 million metric tons. And on wheat, we have new sales of 434,000 metric tons. To now meet the USDA's export targets, we need weekly sales of 806.1 thousand metric tons of corn, 622.7 thousand metric tons of soy, and 219.3 thousand metric tons of wheat. Please visit our website, LiceMercantile.com, to learn more about our grain marketing program and crop insurance services. Thanks, Ryan. Well, let's take a look at your market numbers now on the Chicago Board of Trade, brought to us by Seed Consultants. Simply better performance online at SeedConsultants.com. December corn is trading down a penny and three quarters at $4.19. November beans down six cents at $10.14 and one quarter cent. And wheat for December up three cents at six oh two, with the July 25 new crop up two cents, $6.43 and one half cent. Live cattle trading lower, lean hogs trading higher. Broadcasting from Stark County with the Ohio Field Leader Roadshow at Spielman Farms. Thanks for joining us. This is the Ohio Agnet.